This morning, new concerns on the southern border as more migrants risk their lives to enter the U.S. In Texas, this near drowning in the Rio Grande. A border agent helping save the Guatemalan national struggling in the water. In California, tent cities are popping up in the small town of Hakumba Hot Springs. Migrants are climbing through a small opening where the border wall ends, arriving at this camp with no shelter beds or food. Some using wood and trash to make shelters. Hundreds sharing just two portable toilets. This is ridiculous that we are doing this for the, for the government. The community helping to provide essentials, doctors also volunteering. A lot of people are with a lot of upper, upper respiratory problems. Some of them has muscles to play. After jumping, you know, they have uh, sprains, uh, pain in the legs, so treating uh, those conditions really. And now, a policy change in Mexico threatens to escalate this crisis. The Mexican government, citing budget issues, has suspended migrant deportations and transfers, meaning it will no longer move migrants south from the country's northern border with the U.S., prompting more migrants to take their chances at crossing. The issue is now taking center stage in Washington as Congress considers more funding for the war in Ukraine. Republicans are refusing to approve more aid for Ukraine unless changes are made at the border. We have to affect real policy change at the border, and that is a necessary condition to anything we do going forward. Republicans call it a national security issue, voicing concern not just about migrants from Latin America, but also from other countries, including China. A closed-door briefing among senators yesterday erupting in chaos with reports of screaming. It was a very tense meeting. It was a very tense meeting. Chuck Schumer tried to to shut down anybody who raised the border issue. One of them started was disrespectful and started screaming at the gen one of the generals and challenging him to why he didn't go to the border. The White House argues not funding Ukraine will only help Vladimir Putin. As for the border crisis here at home, more than 8,000 migrants were apprehended Monday alone. Border authorities say they are overwhelmed. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.